Greetings, everyone, and welcome to R. Kelly Appeal TV, where we discuss topics of Robert Sylvester Kelly in the Chicago trial, federal trial in Chicago on child pornography, as well as the federal Brooklyn Appeal. So I came on today because, you know, I've been doing my writing sessions, and I think it's very important for us to be aware what our minds are thinking when we're going through the processing of what's going on in this trial stage. And so I decided to write another journal entry that I want to share with you today. And I hope you are embracing these comments that I'm sharing. Um, I think it's very important and vital. Again, this is to Robert Sylvester Kelly, and this is his R. Kelly Appeal TV channel. So I want to make sure that we talk about the emotional highs and lows and how we feel that, you know, we would be feeling in this situation as an empathetic supporter to what he's going through. So while we're waiting on all the hoopla of the ups and downs of the appeal, we're going to be talking about the emotional backdrops of what he goes through on a daily basis, probably while incarcerated. The title of this journal entry for August the 21st, 2022, The Lies That Magnify. The Lies That Magnify. Okay, dear Robert, I recently studied how to manifest what we want in our lives today. And the instructor mentioned when we are in an unstable environment, we are incapable of creating a future that we ultimately desire for ourselves, right? When we are in a state of chaos, in which you are, we tend to focus on what more can go wrong instead of focusing on what more can go right. So we're going down that rabbit hole, right? That void of Going further and further away from what it is we want is called disassociation to desire. Meaning we cannot visualize greatness like you visualized yourself on stage in front of thousands of people. We cannot vision greatness within the space unless we have been taught to do so, Robert. You are in the belly of the beast facing off on every evil energy that your past has created. Whether you helped create or someone else has helped create, they're in the belly of the beast with you now. You see the magnification of lies that are presented right in front of your face and you're facing off on it. Every evil energy that your past has created, you see the magnification of the light in front of your face. And these lies are there for a primary reason. Fast, we should not be distracted, but you're in a distractive place and it's going to be harder to manifest than any other time right now. Only guilt will convince a person to remain incarcerated because when we're alone, we're destitute, we're depressed, we can victoriously. But I need you to begin that process. Start thinking of the days and the times when you were young and everything was okay. Start thinking of the time when we liked you on that front porch because everybody was the same. Everyone had the same amount of money, the same amount of funds, and the same amount of energy when it came down to singing and dancing. Go back to that place, Robert. So when you think of victory within the state of this chaos energy, you're going to be able to go to what you desire with that focus. Go there immediately. It's kind of like a bad dream, Robert. 
you're in a bad dream and you are about all of your nightmares. Do not stand in your own way, regardless of everything you've been through, all the people that have lied, the very thing that you thought was going to be there for you wasn't. Don't focus on that. Feel that you are abundant just as you felt you were when you were the world's greatest performing and everybody in the world wished that they were you. It is truly difficult to see how our so-called day ones turn on us. That's, that's the harshest. We are right there at a beautiful manifest when we begin to see the chaos of our day one people turning their backs on us. But it's only there to make us weak. But it is remarkable when we have seen it, went through it, avoided it, and stayed focused. Forget the Lisa Van Allens. Forget the Judge Ann Donleys. Forget the Jim Derrick Goddesses. Forget everybody except for you. Because all these people are there as distraction. Just as you remain focused in the studio, Robert, go back to those times in your mind. See, close your eyes and see the crescendo of all the music. Just see the music. Continue to see the musical notes that you told us about because that's where your energy lies. That's where your truth is acknowledged. That's where your manifestations are. And you may have forgotten it because you can't get to a keyboard now. You can't get to a studio now. Create that emptiness. Create that emptiness in your mind at one or two o'clock in the morning when everything is completely still and quiet. Go manifest then. That's how I did it. Go back there in your mind, Robert. Sweep that out. Clean the cobwebs out of the mindset because those are all distractions as well. Anything and everything that's physical can be a distraction, even all the way down to going back too far to your childhood, just to feel the energy. Don't go back there to the physical existence because then you'll start to miss your mom. You'll start to miss not having a dad. You'll start to miss those intimate times that you ended up trying to fulfill in relationships that failed you as well. And then it'll be a big fiasco of something else. Create that emptiness in the early hours since you have so many distractions in your mind. Many times our, many times our conscious plate is more aware of what we have on it than we understand we do. Because our fight or flight response, Robert, is more involved in trying to win the battle of the ego than winning the concept of manifestation. You know, I'm putting myself in your position because I've been there. Put yourself somewhere else when the ego wants to go back to a place you don't want to be. Put the ego in on the back burner so the mind can be free. See, Robert, what is happening is you are the creator of your physical life. You are the only person that can create victims in your world. You are the only person that can make yourself a victim. When you say that Rashonda 
the Janes, the Jane Doe's, the Jane, the Johns, and all the others are making you feel un- unable to focus on your desire for a better life. Don't use your lack of those people loving you as right now creating a focus that is going to also distract you. Create your future storyline for yourself. Don't let these people create the storyline for you. Don't let Jim Dare Goddess create the storyline for you. Don't let the prosecutors um, or the defense attorneys for June Brown or Daryl McDavid create your lifestyle for you. Don't let Michael Avenatti, who's incarcerated, distract you. Mm -mm. Don't let those people distract you. There is a psychologic, there is a psychological aspect behind relationships we have with our success. And you of all people, Robert, can only make this relationship better or worse for you. Not a Lisa Van Allen, not a not a gardener, not a savage, not a Clary, only you. All these people seem to be getting more of the glory than you, and you're the one doing the time. So there's a pattern that our brainwave uses that connects us to all the things that we know over the course of our lives. And when this pattern comes, it forces us to see things that we've always either heard, recognized, or experienced in a dream state, or in a deja vu moment, or in any of those instances, but through the continual trust in yourself and your higher power, you will be able to help assist the relationship to get you out of that thought cycle that your mind has trained yourself to believe it's real and you learned it. You were a traumatic being just like I. And through our trauma, our adversaries were able to find our weakness and play upon it. And you and I were both the same as far as emotions are concerned. You carried your emotions on your sleeve. So it was highly easy for the adversary, the enemy to come in and knock us down at our weakest moment, which was the time of death of the loved ones that mattered so much the most to us. Our relationships with freedom is literally manifested this exact way. We can build a manifestation of freedom through incarceration. Continue to see yourself free, Robert. Cause see, continue to see yourself moving through the process, no matter all the naysayers that are around you and the test is the naysayers incarcerated that will tell you everything about your case except for they have no idea what's happening in theirs. Our relationships with freedom is literally manifested in this exact way of working on the thought cycle that we train our minds to believe and learn exist and is real based upon the trauma that we deal with. Now this is coming from the psychological aspects of the mind and how the mind works. And if you don't believe me, you can go to the psychologic um, psychology um, today and you will read this. So our minds allow us to be free. Have you ever heard that people can be the freest in the most isolated points and times of their lives? That's what we're saying, Robert. Work on having a good relationship with yourself and with your life. I know it's so difficult to to be grateful for where you are, but the only way to escape that and remove yourself from that dream 
is to continue to feel the goodness of being. The goodness of being empty. Not broke, but empty. Because nothing resides there. And as soon as you realize that, immediately things will shift in your dimension. It may be hard at this particular moment, but maybe it won't be hard for you because you know what I'm talking about. You have always been the star at the center of your life. You have never lived in lack even when you were younger. You had what it took and you knew it. That's how you became it. So you have always only wanted the best for yourself as we all should want for our own selves. So figure out a way to be smarter, wiser, and more prepared than the chaos that your mind has taught you to believe exists around every corner. Psychologists teach us that the mind when we're young is much slower than the processes of what we learn. It's called theta, delta, and the variance when we are receiving information, how we see the information being performed for us. This very performance is going to make our emotions understand that we are surrounding ourselves in a stressful situation. So you got to put alarms in your mindset so that you are being you're being warned before a trigger occurs. That's how we have to think, Robert. We have to think that way. Put alarms in your mindset so that you will see things differently and remember to see things differently when these triggers come before you. When you wake up and you find that your money is gone from your account, you already knew that this was going to be. So you're more at gratitude level than hype, higher level chaos. So then your mind starts to calm itself down and create what it desires. And it puts an imprint on the mind. And it helps us to be able to speak clearly, see things clearly. So when we're in trial, our mind can only take us through what it is we desire, not what is occurring. It's a split dimension. Somebody made a statement that it feels like we're in the twilight zone. Absolutely, because Robert, you are the creator. <laughs> Who was that guy that would tell the story at the twilight zone at the very beginning? That's you. You even did it and trapped in the closet when you sang what was happening. All of our beliefs come from past experiences, Robert. And I'm here to tell you that only you can make this right for yourself. And I've been here. I've been here. I've done this. And that's how I know it. I had a friend who was always telling me, you don't want to be in there? Then get yourself out. Get yourself out. And it starts with the thought. So all of this stuff that's playing in the courtroom and all of this, you know, my belief in the appeal, my belief in you're going to get, you know, exonerated from all these charges and all the people that sit here with me with the hope and the prayer and the belief and the understanding that you will make it through. They're all, we're all rooting for you, but Robert, you are the only one that can do the manifestation work. And it is the 21st century and that manifestation, that life of manifestation is real. So you think it, so it speak it, it becomes. So don't allow people to drain your energy continually to where you're just sitting there listening to all of the naysayers in there. And I know you have even stronger demons around you now than you ever had 
with the Nazrio Clary, with the Joycelyn Savage, with the Lisa Van Allen, with the Rashonda Lanfair and her family. All them demons are multiplied by 10 now. They're in there because this is your exam. This is your official PhD analogy. This is your thesis. And it, it, it is a spiritual one, Robert. And I guarantee you, if we went to the chat right now, people would be understanding what I'm saying. Because we all fuel off of this. Anyone who is destined themselves, I'm broke, I need a job, and you get a job, no matter if you chose to get a job that you didn't like or did like, a lot of it manifested from the belief in only what you, your trauma taught you, you could believe. Believe stronger, Robert. Believe harder. Know that you know. Because that's what happened to me every single day. I knew this is the day they're going to call my name. They're going to say, it's time to go, Sean. Time to go. And not for the ride out, but for the ride back. You know, so Robert, you got to do this. And I know you hear these messages that I speak on here. Maybe you don't hear all of them, but you hear the ones that matter the most. And I'm grateful that you are participating even in the R. Kelly Appeal TV just by listening, just by hearing the passion, just by knowing that you know. These are just remembrances, things that bring back, bring you back to a time where life was good. So I did want to let you know that that was my journal entry today. And there's something going on uniquely with the universe. It's working with me. It's working with me very hard. And I tell you what, it is a powerful thing it's so powerful that I don't even know where all of this is coming because there's a way that you do things and somebody tells you, teach me how to do it. And you don't know how to teach them. You can't go, well, this is step one. This is step two. You just know that, you know, you know that, you know, and it all makes sense in the end, you know? Um, so I had a quote here that was sent to me on one of the one of the podcasts that I want to share. Um, a lot of free R. Kelly's. A lot of free R. Kelly's. Um, Laura Kelly, we love you. Keep the faith. No one believes in this docuseries, Robert. We already know what's going on. Nobody can pull the wool over our eyes. They can't. You spoke to your jury. You said hello. You saw them. You put the energy in each and every one of those people sitting on that sideline. You know, you did that. So whatever the consequence, whatever the case may be, it is because you believe in it. You believe in it. So the only thing I can say to you is I'm going to keep on appealing the idea that you are free and to free Robert Sylvester Kelly until you otherwise give me a reason. You know, don't stop fighting. Continually believe and know who you are. And that Bonjean is going to work with you. Work to help you. Help yourself. It's a wonderful time, Robert, and I feel real good about it. So I'm going to keep writing these journal entries to you because it is a manifestation in which I am creating for my own destiny, for my own belief system. This is not going to be the end of your story the way they want to put it out there. 
We're going to work really, really hard. Now, for those in the chat who want to send Robert some love, please do so. Start putting in the chat. I'm going to give 10 minutes of free empty space for you to keep putting the love in the chat. I need to see that. So if he does get to see this, he will see the love and the people who empower him. So let's do that for Robert tonight. Even if I'm the only one in the chat doing it, I'm going to write so much good stuff to Robert in the next 10 minutes. Keep your head up, know you're strong, know you're powerful, know who you are, know whose you are, and know that this too shall pass and you will be victorious in it all. I thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing this podcast. Please say a prayer continually and a meditation continually for Robert. And as always, keep it 100. I'm going to give you 10 minutes, 10 minutes. It is now 24 minutes. I'm going to give you 34 minutes to write 10 more minutes to write whatever you want to write in the chat. It will not close out. You'll still be able to speak. So keep going. Peace and blessings. And we'll see you next time.